Alrighty guys, so a lot of videos this morning apparently. So we have the brand new shop coming out for, uh, what is it? Je 2022, the first shop of 2022. And uh, we're gonna talk about the, the plans they're gonna have, see if there's gonna be anything different. Um, and we'll talk about some of the characters that we use, some of the weapons, and of course, uh, the characters in there and if you should pull, get, pick them up in the shop or not. Let's jump into it. All right, so we actually put out a shop video every single month, and last month we did, of course, uh, the Ito Star Glitter Shop, and it it was good. But uh, I wanted to I want to get some feedback from you guys from YouTube. Um, I don't want to always reiterate the same thing every single time I do these videos. Of course, I, like a lot, there's a joke on my stream about like the monthly or bi-monthly, you know, uh, blacklist review. It's funny, but. Um, if you guys want to know more information or something different on the shop videos, let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see in these videos. And of course, I will do that and of course help you out uh, as much as I can. And uh, I'll take your feedback and we'll see what we can do for the following video. Alrighty, so for this one, of course, new shop. So we got most likely going to be exactly the same as every other month, but I'm not sure. And the winner is Fischl and Jangling! Even in 2022, they stay exactly the same. All right, so I have a caveat on this official thing, okay? I'm gonna talk about official a little bit. So, MiHoYo right now is doing this thing. And they're doing this thing where they're continuously, continuously skipping official. She is basically the longest Miss character, even longer than Bennett, even longer than Jang. Like she has literally been the longest Miss character. And I talked about why in one of my videos before this, um, there's some issues with the drama on the CM voice actor. Uh, if you wanna see more information on that, link in the description below to check out the information on that. And in fact, since we know the entire banner set up for 2.4 and we know that she's not gonna be on there and they're actually doing another run of Beidou for this. And we know that Yay Miko is gonna be coming out sometime very soon in the next patch. Um, we know that Sarah will most likely be on one of the banners on that time frame. But if Raiden Shogun gets a rerun, most likely Raiden Shogun and Sarah will be paired together. Now, if Raiden and Shogun and Yemiko are on a similar banner setup, kind of like how Shenha and Zhao are, and there's another rerun kind of setup just like this right after it, then potentially Fischl could come that then. But the last time we saw Fischl, by the way, was June 9th. It has already been over six months since we've seen Fischl. So I'm not going to tell you to pick up Fischl out of the shop because if she doesn't come anytime soon, that's really weird. And um, I'm kind of surprised. So I, I hope Fischl comes soon, but she should be relatively soon. Now, every time there is a new character that comes out, um, like Bennett, you can see Bennett on the November 1st shop was here and then came out on November 24th. Uh, Barbara, again, came out on the December shop, or sorry, with uh, Kaya. And then we got, of course, down here, Barbara again. We go back to see Razor. Razor is not in that, the shop bracket, but we had Shinku and Ningwang back in September and there's Shinku and Ningwang. So I think there's some kind of correlation to the shop right now, and I'm not sure why, but Beidou and Noel, there's Beidou right there and right after August. And I don't know why they're lining up almost perfectly. Got Zhang Ling back in June with Fischl. And then right after that in uh, August, September, we had Zhang Ling and we didn't get Fischl. But it was just weird. I think this is around the same time the, the VA stuff was happening in, Sarah, in, uh, in September. So that's probably why this kind of came up. I don't remember what date time frame this was, but that's probably where the, the CNVA stuff was coming in. So I hope Fischl's coming soon, probably in the next patch or so, but she could come on the exact same banner as Yamiko. And that could happen. And the reason it could is because we actually had the first banner ever to have two of the same elemental typing starting January 5th. So 2022 is where they were first starting double element on banner. So. This is the first time ever we have double Geo, so it is definitely possible to have double Electro Four Stars starting from this point. So it could be Sarah and Fischl on the same banner. That is definitely a possibility based upon what they did before Shenha and Zhao. So back to the game here. Uh, Zhang Ling pickup. Don't, so as far as Fischl pickup, make your own decision on this. If you think they're gonna rerun Fischl based on the, uh, C the CN, um, 
uh, the sea and controversy and all that there. You could pick this up if you're not, if you're sort of not gonna rerun her anytime soon, but I think she might be coming relatively soon. Zhang Ling, we are getting a free leeway character already. And unless you're like at Constellation 2 Zhang Ling right now, okay, unless you're at Constellation 2 right now and you're gonna be picking up Zhang Ling for free and then buying Zhang Ling out of the shop, you should probably skip Zhang Ling here. This is a big mix mistake, okay? Unless you're at C2 and you're buying both of those, kind of a mistake, because you can all pick up Zhang Ling for free. Now, let's say there's a case where you're at Constellation 3 right now on Zhang Ling, because the big one you want is Constellation 4, and you wanted to pick up Zhang Ling out of the shop, and then Yunjin from the free pick. Well, that is a good way to go. That is also another route that you could go, but just know that if you want Zhang Ling, she is a character that you could acquire at any given time. The real thing is though, why are you gonna be picking up a C0 four star off of the free pick? When you know, when every player in Genshin knows that C0 four stars are kind of tricky when it comes in comparison to higher constellation four stars that you already have. Case in point is a lot of the characters already. The only characters that are except, uh, kind of exempt from this rule are gonna be like Goru as well as e uh, Goru and uh, Rosaria. And both of those characters, a lot of people don't even use Rosaria anymore. We actually saw a, a Spiral Abyss spreadsheet the other day and Rosaria's use of Abyss went way effing down. So, and that is probably because of the introduction of other cryo characters in Genshin and the, the the need of use of the characters way down because the whole reason to use her is because Raiden Shogun was particle generation. So she would go way down because of that. So that makes sense. But Zhang Ling as a character is a character that you can, again, pick up for free next month. So may not want to use the Steel Glitter right here. All right. Now for the monthly Blacklift review, Keck. Uh, Blacklift Longsword. Great weapon in general. If you, I was asking about this earlier. Uh, Blacklift Longsword is technically the current best four-star weapon for Bennett that you can pick up for free. Unless you want to summon for an alley flash or unless you want to summon for a random weapon, the best four-star weapon to pick up is Blacklift. The reason it's the best is because it's going to give the highest amount of base attack that you could potentially get from a weapon, which is 565 base attack. And it also has crit damage on the main stat. Base attack is what matters for Bennett, not the total amount of attack percentage. And the fact that the proc doesn't work doesn't even affect you that much, so it's fine. You do need a lot of energy recharge on Bennett, so a lot of people think about Sacrificial or Favonius, but those weapon is extremely low base attack, so they don't provide as much value. So this is the best overall four-star weapon for Bennett. So if you need a weapon for him, that's what you could do. Not 100% recommending it, it's just like if you don't have any other option, that's what you do. Okay. Um, Festering Desire, if you have it though, is, is the way. It, but if you have Festering, you don't need my advice anyways, because you already know. Okay, next up, Blacklift Polearm. Is it good for Zhao? Yes. Is it good for Shenha? Yes. Is it going to be better, best in slot for Shenha? No, it will not. Lithic Spear will probably be the best for Shenha, and it's actually been proven that the Lithic Blade, uh, Lithic Spear is actually a little bit better than Blacklift Polearm overall for DPS. Blacklift Polearm is very suspect in, in terms of Spiral Abyss in a lot of contexts if you're leaving it refined one. If you do end up refining it, it is very good for Zhao, but low refines, it's really weak unless you're getting kills, and you don't have to get a lot of kills in sequence to make this weapon work. Refine one four-star weapon is a little bit suspect. Same thing goes for deathmatch. It's kind of suspect at refine one, but when you get higher refines of that weapon, it goes crazy. All right. Uh, Blacklift Slasher. This is kind of a skip weapon now because we have more options for crit damage pull, uh, claymores and things like that. It's not really that great for most characters, but you can pick it up. The, the Catalyst, nope. And if you're wondering about the Blacklift Warbow for Ganyu, it's the flux weapon for her. The Hamayumi was not introduced at the start of the game, so if you um, if you are looking for a, a good weapon for Ganyu, the the good all rounder weapon right now it, to pick up if you're not going to be using your bow prototypes anywhere else is the Hamayumi. But if you end up wanting to go for a balanced weapon and you actually need a lot of crit damage, but you have a lot of attack percentage already in your build, then the Black Lift is a good pickup. Um, but I would recommend making, if you have a lot of bow prototypes, which a lot of people do have, I would recommend going for R5 Hamayumi over going for Black Lift over in general, and then I would recommend if you're going for a freeze build, prototype Crescent. Because right now, since we have so many more prototypes, it's a lot easier for people to obtain bow prototypes. You get about three or four, you get, I think it's like three or four refines on uh, your bow instead of going for the Blacklift. 
And uh, the, the difference between this and Zhao is that Zhao doesn't have any other options. And then for next month's shop, uh, it's going to be, of course, a Badudu as well as Noel. So if you did want to pick up either a Noel Constellation or Beidou Constellation, they're going to be here. But again, as we know, Beidou is going to be in the banner coming up. And Noel was out, is currently out, was out just recently on the Albedo banner. And if you wanted to pick that up, you would have picked it up with either Albedo or Hula for some copies there. Uh, Noel at C6 is pretty strong now with the Red Horn Slasher as well as other things. So just know that if you're saving for that and you just need one more Constellation, yes, C6 Noel is a great boost. It's huge. But pre-C6 Noel is trash. Uh, Beidou gets strong at C2, C5, and C6. Those are the big ones for her. If you don't want not going for one of those constellations, it's not really worth it in general to pick up anything in there. As always, pick up your summons and see, let's see what we get this month. Blamo. Yeah. And some base banner summons. All right. I'm going to save. Right now, I'm saving because we just heard about a lot of the new banners. So I'm wondering where we're going to get our monthly five summons out of here. I don't think we actually do very many base banner summons in general, right? Just, I, haven't, I haven't seen a lot of them. I think we do only do them when we get new characters, level up, or like get some random stuff. Hey, look, a four star. What do we get? EP Welcome Account Summon. A Dragon's Bane. I don't know what I have on Refines for Dragon's. I'll go check in a minute. But I don't need that weapon at all. That weapon's a kind of a trap weapon in general. And I find it only good for like a certain style of Melkup or if you're building Ku Tao. And uh, for Zhang Ling, it's pretty suspect. Let's see. I already have R5. Yeah. R7. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. My name is Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And let me know what you guys think about these videos and what you wanna see in these videos more in the comment section down below. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.